On Indiegogo, a project currently with over 600,000 US dollars and 2,855% funded, sits as one of the most popular gaming machines currently being funded on Indiegogo. That device is known as the Retro Engine Sigma and plays mostly all retro games on an emulator. It also accepts cartridges and is also a 4K media center. This little box only comes in one style right now, but Doyota, who makes this product, is also featuring a more Genesis style system in the silver color. The console ships with 15 pre-installed games, but you can easily install emulators on this, and some things like controllers and keyboards can be used directly from your smartphone. So what are the specs in this tiny little computer? Well, good question. As of now, we know the device has a 4-core processor, two USB ports that accepts any retro USB controller, with on the back a micro USB port for wireless controller setup and can be used as an expansion port, HDMI out, and a 5 volt wire with an external power supply. Not only that, but the device is also a working mini computer, meaning that it can do things like browse online. So two models will be shipping this month, one being the standard model, shipping with a flashy controller or the Stick Pro controller, the console, of course, micro SD card reader, an HDMI cable, and an AC power cable. This model also has 32 gigabytes of storage. This model will be sold in retail stores at a price of 80 US dollars. However, another model is also going to be shipping called the Retro Engine Sigma 64 gigabytes BT. Pro. This model includes the same AC adapter, the Retro Engine Sigma Pro, same HDMI cable, two stick Pro controllers, but this time with Bluetooth, Bluetooth dongles, and a micro SD card reader. This model will ship only for 130 US dollars. I think that this box, with all its features, is just nice because of what it includes in the actual box. You can probably make this exact box with the Raspberry Pi, and that costs around $30, but Really, I don't think that the argument I just used doesn't really matter because you can make an NES Classic Edition out of a Raspberry Pi with more games, and still, even with that fact, the product was still incredibly popular. Now, of course, Nintendo was just a slightly bigger company than Doyoto, so that makes sense, but the Raspberry Pi method could be used here as well. So if you found this video interesting, please share this video on social media. Also, leave your thoughts on this in the comment section below, and see you.